I think the power of crew is that it's about students and teachers getting to know each other deeply. We all bring outside lives and experiences to the work we do on a daily basis here, and that it's important that we recognize our humanity. By working in our community and then working our way out, we bring more positive change. We want our local community, our national community, and our global community to be ever improving. We need everybody to be not just on board, but helping drive the ship forward. We're crew, not passengers. The whole relationship and philosophy around We Are Crew is truly embedded. And we're going to make a circle. If you don't get at the heart of a child, they're not going to learn. How do we create an environment where kids feel like they belong and they're part of a school community and not just a student in a school? You have to build a relationship. Crew is a vehicle that helps you build relationships, whether it's faculty crew or student crew. Crew is a structure that allows us to create a sense of belonging. And it meets at least 30 minutes a day. <laughs> that level of confidence that comes from feeling like you are belonging into a space uh, really sets the stage for growth to happen. I want to educate children sometime in the near future about the LGBTQ plus community. Mm -hmm. Every student has a crew leader and that crew leader is assigned to about like from like 12 to say 17 students. Your crew advisor really gets to know like your life outside of school, your life in school, your academic progress. Just getting to uh, build them camaraderies with people, you know, it helps you build, it helps build your, your character as a person. So it's a way to uplift you in the school. As principal, I've become a better person, a better leader, and a better advocate for kids with my engagement and my understanding of crew. They're in it together. They're in the same ship, right? And having your crew there is really, really good. Especially like as a first generation student, it's hard to like seek help for the applications. And if we didn't have crew, I would be lost. I wouldn't have time. I feel like all the colleges I applied to wouldn't have gotten applied to. They hold each other accountable. They push each other to their highest goals and they challenge each other emotionally. I really do love you guys. Like I love heart and this is how I'm loving right now. Okay. We unite with each other. We're basically like a family. We're responsible for each other, make sure everyone's on track. So maybe it's like right here, it looks like you didn't erase your lines. So like we got erasers so we can make it perfect and we got to ask, ask, uh, ask our crewmates if they could help us. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. And that's so much like, I don't know, so much bigger than just like, oh, you're my friend and I'm just gonna be nice to you. No, I'm holding you accountable to like do this hard, rigorous work, but I'm gonna support you along the way. And seeing kids do that is like, that's it. That's what it's about, right? Like, that's crew. Because if they help me, that would be showing compassion. When students feel like their identities are, are welcomed, one, and celebrated, two, it certainly impacts their academic success um, positively and significantly. Crew has helped me academically by providing me with skills of how I can advocate for myself um, verbally. Maybe I need to reach out to someone that's stronger than me in math. I pointed out to my crew that if anyone needed help in math, I would help them because math is my favorite and my best subject. So I'm there to help my crewmates if they need it. Many students feel defeated when they have to ask for help. And I think when students have the opportunity to have themselves celebrated and uh, recognized, that fear tends to dwindle. We're also very willing to bring up difficult conversations, have conversations, within our community and be able to trust one another. Maybe because of my privilege, I've Some of the things that we've talked about in Courageous Conversation are related to race, mental illness, marginalized groups such as the LGBTQ community. We've talked about white privilege. It's always the black people reaching out to the white people. I think it's best to be honestly pushed to where you're not in your comfort zone, you're in a little bit of a stretch zone. I think brave and honest communication is a prerequisite for equity. I think that you cannot have one without the other. What has to be in the conversations is trust and love and a lot of it too. I want to be a pediatric oncologist because I had an incident with my cousin 
and she's no longer here with us. We need to be able to share our stories and in Crew, since we get to do that, we get to have other people's support from us. Those relationships that happen there span out into the entire community. We are Crew gives our students the voice to take a stand for something that they believe in. What do we want? Please! What do we want? Yes. When one is given the position to proclaim their inward thoughts without fear of reprisal, such people can transform the world. We save our watershed and we help animals and we serve Everyone on the front lines of this pandemic. Thank you. Their presence and their effort and their work and learning is contributing to moving this ship forward. And by being crew and not passengers, they are advocating and creating meaningful change in the world around them. In crew, you teach us to become better people in general. And that's why we basically go to school to learn things but to also to learn how we could help people and how we could become our best selves to help people around us.